Here we go, Siege. Today we're playing with MY Frenzy and Avenger X. And this Siege is very important and the next one as well because if we fail, we might not make it to the tournament. So the pressure is on and the tryhard teams are out of their cages, even for me. For the first round, we're going to go in very tanky here. We have triple win starting with Brian, who will provide the revive and healing for the team to make sure I win. And then we have Triana to provide more healing and immunity. And lastly, our bruiser of choice will be Roy to provide the defense break and the damage. There's only one defense breaker and he's water and his cooldown is long. So I think we should be okay. The other two unit with down defense break shouldn't do a lot of damage. And that Asher was fast. I feel like it was on Swift. So if I went in with a usual Swift team that I run, I might have been in trouble. Let's cleanse the defense break. And we will aim for the dark damage dealer. I think that is the easiest to kill. And it should also do the most, da most damage from the enemy. Okay. We're in some trouble here because that thing is not dying yet. And it is proccing violent. And the blue thing is also proc. Oh my god, my reviver is in trouble. What do I do here? Can I sleep that? Okay, got some attack bar now. We're gonna try to kill this damage dealer. And then we get a violent part with Roy to provoke the water unit as well. And I think we should be okay because now he'll have to hit Roy and I can sleep this guy. Okay, that was not a sleep that I wanted. We're gonna try to kill Ro I mean kill the vampire here. Got that done as well. Unfortunately, this skill doesn't do anything when nobody's dead which is kind of a shame because I think now the reviver can also do things while they can't revive. This guy's okay though. He's a tanky unit. This is the first time I tried using him. Didn't feel as safe as I thought it would be. But it's okay. Not too bad of a team. All right. Next round, we have a very, very tanky team. So going turn two, we're going to get demolished by Kiki defense break and Byung-Chun damage. But there's no way I'm doing that. We're going first with Adriana. We're going to one-shot the Nigong with Sonia. And then we have this girl to one-shot the Dark Unit. So, they are... Holy shit, why are they so... Yo, that light thing is quite fast. Okay, let's go for the kill here. Not too bad. I have damage on light. Oh, they're really fast, huh? Like, really fast. <laughs> Not a problem though. We're gonna oblivion this guy maybe. Nice oblivion. And now he's gonna do the damage. Can't crit because it's oblivion. We're gonna defense break with this potentially. Easily done. And then we're gonna slow him down. We're gonna slow him down again. And he shouldn't prove to be a problem with Sonya's go to. But they were pretty fast. I'm surprised. All right, next target. What do we have? Holy shit, what is this? What an abomination of a cleave team is this? Wait, can I cleave this guy? All right, for this one, we're going to Tiana cleave. My Tiana should outspeed, and then Chung Feng is going to push back together with the support of Galleon attack buff defense break. And then Tiana will finish him off with the skill too. That's the plan. I'm going to strip all of that, no problem. Galleon, please. Please, Galleon. Thank you so much. Seri this is a serious matter, okay? Push back. We miss everything on the... I don't understand. Oh my, 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 my Siri just answered me. Not you, Siri. Wait, where's my attack buff? Can I kill this? Amazing damage. How did he resist every single pushback? That is unbelievable. Let's get some defense break on you. There's no way he's gonna 1v3. Right? I don't feel like he's on despair. He's not despair. Oh, he's on vile. Now that is another funny problem, but there's no way he's gonna 1v3. You're not that lucky, buddy. You, you can't be so lucky back to back, okay? Now you're done. And that is GG. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if it was not the Ryu, but the Giselle that resisted every pushback. That could have been insane. Wait, did he get off sped? There's no way. Wait, what happened? No way they survived. <laughs> Lucianing G3 defense can be quite scary, huh, guys? Because no matter how well built your Lucian is, there's going to be that one defense where all of them have shield rune and minus 25% damage from win. And uh, that is the risk that you have to take when you Lucian people. Okay, on paper, this seemed like a very good idea if you have speed and you one-shot the middle unit. The other two will glance, I mean, not glance, the other two will crit on a Miho most of the time. There's a small like window of non-crit hit which is the chandra skill 3 
and the Ch- and the stun from the Byeongchang will make Miho not heal back in time, but because Chandra has to take time to kill Kali. And in this window, if you beat the Chandra, then your Miho can solo the Byeongchang. But that window is not big, and the damage from Chandra and Byeongchang can go crazy with the Violent proc, and your two side unit will die very very fast. And Miho might not be able to do this, but it is an option. If you don't know what to do against this kind of defense when you face Chandra Byeongchon, you can find a way to kill the middle unit and then another way to kill the, the Chandra as quickly as possible. Miho can really hard carry this as well, but it is risky, okay? Yo, that is so premium, holy. Next round, we have the Chandra Giselle Byeongchon. And this is my first debut for Gyo in Siege because I thought, hmm, they all use a lot of their skill and in Siege, you can't dodge the Karma. The AI is stupid, so you can abuse that and just reduce their HP very, very quickly. We also have Bulwark here and a Light Healer to provide Bulwark with buff so that we can reduce their HP even quicker. I'm not going to rely on my actual damage output, but more from the skill effect that gives you a lot of HP reduction. So, Chandra and Byeongchang will always use their skill, which means we can just put Karma onto the... I think we should kill the Chandra first. Probably easier to use. Okay. Oh, we didn't get the invincibility. But then the cooldown is really, really long now. Um, I'm going to go for the immunity first. And I think we have to heal back a little bit. And now we go straight for the Chandra. And we wait. Okay. They're going to use their skill regardless. Because Chandra is very, very skill abusing as a unit. We're going to put this on this guy. Okay, that's not very important because he just used his skill already originally i kind of want to focus on putting the the karma onto the dark unit because if she's out of the way then the defense is not really strong anymore because you don't have any more defense breaks so let me try to put that on her very beautiful and then i'm gonna go back to this get some immunity going get some anti-crit going i swear anti-crit is such a fake buff nowadays because everything and their mom can just crit without worrying about crit in, trend, in general. <laughs> so anti-crit is just kind of fake. And let's transform back to be tanky. We can also just stun this guy. Okay, let's have immunity once again to be safe. And then we don't have to heal just yet. So I'm trying to stun this. I want her to use skill. And then now she's very vulnerable. If we can strip that invincibility, she will die very quickly. But first, I'm going to put this thing on you. I think he's going to use the hug very, very soon. Going to strip that, maybe. We didn't get the invincibility, but we can definitely do this on the Chandra. Make sure that she he's low and we can one-shot him, potentially. All right. Ouch. Ouch. But we're high res. Heal a little bit. He's going to do that. We're going to put... We're going to strip that because she's going to die very, very soon. So, defense break. You didn't get a defense break. Do I... I don't really have to do anything, right? I'm just going to wait a little bit here in this position. Transform, maybe get a Violent proc to get the skill 2 back so we can cleanse. When you play with a horse, transforming is usually the good play because you can get a lot of Violent procs in between and your skill cooldown will be very, very low. Okay, let's try to take down this beautiful dark unit. Should I? I think, I think I'm going to do this right now. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good play. <laughs> I'm kind of prolonging the fight a little bit too long here, which is not good. Okay, five stack for us once again. I am going to strip that. We are going to do damage on her. And then we're going to do this on Chandra. So now he's at one HP. If we violent proc with the Bober, we could have killed right there, but we didn't. Which is totally fine because <laughs> this one's going to be the one to get the violent proc. We're going to finish off the Chandra. We're going to do good damage on this one. And then it is over. The moment we can put the Karma onto the Byeongchon, his HP is going to drop really quickly as well. And this is another way you can abuse the skill to do damage on unit that can't be dealt with using the conventional way, like using crit damage or ignore defense. Because this guy is just different. So he do that. He lost a lot of HP. His skill cooldown is super long now. And we can focus on killing him with this very, very easily. All right. Goodbye, Byeongchon. Goodbye, Byeongchon. Stop hanging around. We don't want to see your face anymore. GG. Okay. This was not too bad. I kind of enjoyed this a little bit. A long fight. 
but I need to do this, okay? We need to win right now. Next round, we're going in with a Swift Holy Berry, and then we're going to have Kakarno for the damage and the leader skill. Meanwhile, the Light Tank will be Molly, and if we manage to buff this, then all their damage will not matter. I feel like these teams, they're built to counter Leo, so they shouldn't be too fast. And if we can outspeed them, I think we should be okay. She's going to do that. I don't think it's going to scare me too much because she will never defense break the fire unit in the middle. And there's, if no if no defense break happen, even this guy would do one damage. So it's not really a problem. We're going to defense break that. Oh, that is that is bad. That, that, oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what is happening? What, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, can we talk about this for a little bit? Please, please talk about this for a little bit. Can I stun you? Thank you very much. And now clap her with the defense break. Come on, Kakarno. You have to finish that Clara quickly. We can't be dealing with this crap. Okay, big defense break. And then we are going to bonk. Okay, she's not out yet, but free defense break over there. Get out of here, Clara. Moving on to Savannah. We need to get that. We need to get that. That skill three. Come on. Come on. Okay. We are safe again for a long time, actually. All right. That thing's going to be down as well. Less defense break. There's only one thing with defense break left. That is going to be the dark unit. And with the shield on, we should be very, very safe. So we're going to go into this. I kind of want to do that. Kind of wasted damage right there, but not a problem. As you can see right there, no, no amount of violent procs. No amount of funny thing that this guy can do will ever, ever make me feel scared. <laughs> As I say that, I am mildly nervous, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But I think we're fine. We can get a defense break here. And there's nothing you can do about this. And that's GG. Next up, we have a Dark Siri Asher Lizo once again. So we're going to outspeed with Croa. My intel told me that we have a Vio Asher. And then we're going to buff the attack power with Madeline. And lastly, we're going to one-shot with the Miyang with damage there on water because we're going to get rid of the defense breaker as soon as possible. All right, here we go with the buff. And then we're going to skill on the vampire, buff the attack power, and then finish off the vampire. So after this, there's no more defense break. So this guy will attack dark and the other unit will attack light. And they're both semi-tanky to take the damage from the enemy unit. We're going to try to push back this guy and slow him down. Reduce the cooldown of the team. And heal the team back up. And with that, we should have the buff once again soon from the rat. Oh, we have attack buff and uh, speed buff once again. So we're going to attempt to kill the dark unit. We did that. And now the wolf is the only one left, which should not be a problem. I'm going to slow him down once again. Put some glancing over there. I did not buff because I want to use the buff to cycle turn and get the skill two back as quickly as possible. And we're going to skill one over here. Heal the team to get the buff to infinite turn. Slow the Asher down. And finish it off. GG. In the back. <laughs> In the back. Another round, Chandra, Holy Berry, and Byungchon. G3 Siege right here. All right, here we go. In this team, we have a Swift Immensity to boost my Bulldozer to one-shot the enemy Holy Berry. And meanwhile, Tetra will keep us alive. And then we do that slowly, one by one. All right, here we go. We're going to boost this guy. And then we're going to one-shot this. And now it's the game of sustain. <laughs> scary a little bit scary but we have defense buff and we have a healer so the slow debuff will not stay for long and my budos is on vile so hopefully he won't be stunned for too long and can get the cooldown back so that we can eliminate the byongchon i think i should be okay now we're gonna keep attacking the byongchon because if you i don't lower his hp down enough i can't actually one shot him or maybe i should try one shotting this okay that's a good stun right there the next day okay i think if i crit one time we should kill him and it's double hit okay we crit twice actually <laughs> and then we pretty much win because there's no way a bionchon can actually do anything to my fish and i can probably hit the auto button grab a sip and just enjoy this slow but steady auto here we go very nice amazing all right 
Not bad, not bad. We got another one down with a save team. All right, what do we have here? Oh my god, it's the same shit. <laughs> That's literally the guy I just beat. <laughs> what a surprise. We have to hit this thing one more time. <laughs> so my water tank and healer will be a liar. We have Fangin and we have Juno to deal with the buff and also the damage coming out from Chandra. You might think that, wow, Sean, what a safe and pussy team. But... You haven't seen G3 defense break Byeongchon damage just yet because it can get really, really wild. But first, let's take a selfie. I mean, let's strip. We got nothing on the dark unit, which is... Oh my god, see? I could have cleansed that. But now I'm in trouble because... Okay, we got the cleanse and the defense buff. So we might be okay. Can I stun that? Okay, that's a good stun. Stopping the damage coming out from that for two seconds, pretty much. Self-healing to cleanse again. And then we stun again, maybe. So uh, now I'm still not out of the... <laughs> We're not out of the theme park just yet. The fun is only starting, but as long as we have defense buff, I think we can take some hit just fine. And we have immunity as well, so we can kind of not get stunned. But I don't know how long that's going to stay. Okay, she's going to do the thing. And then we're going to not have any protection right now because we needed a violent proc. But he might give me enough attack bar to maybe come in between, potentially. Not. Oh my god. You see that? A Fangin. So tanky. And just one violent proc from Byeongchon. I could easily just <laughs> visit my grandparents. That's what people say in Vietnam. In my country. That if you die, you're going to see your grandparents. And it's kind of true, okay? <laughs> one good violent proc from this guy. And I'm going to see my ancestor for real. Okay, Byeongchon's gone, and now, jeez. I used to run like a max res build, but I realized that. Even with that, I get defense broken for free by pretty much any unit, even a, a Theomas. <laughs> so I kind of give up the max res build, and I just go with a high stat build. But I think I mind to go for like a high HP build at this point, because my, my defense get get absolutely demolished anyway so why do i even care about having high defense i need maybe a sort of a balanced mix between hp and defense so that when they defense break me i'm not too weak against their their damage okay beyond is just crazy <laughs> such an unfair op unit but hey we're winning anyway so it's fine oh look at my boy go that is kind of sus because I feel like the defense break and the violent problem, this guy might break arena. It takes a long ass time though. Also, I really want to see what happened on defense because my boy Yodayo in my guild, he's also a SWC player. His defense is absolutely shredding. He's technically two member worth in our guild because this defense is just demolishing the enemy. I wish I can see just one reply from this POV because this defense is insane. He got 22 wins already. And in the contribution ranking, he's ranked right below me without doing any attack. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This guy is ranked right below me. I had eight wins and he's, he just he hasn't left his bed yet. And his contribution is already skyrocketing because this defense is just absolutely insane. I wish I can show you guys the runes, but we're not going to do that. Oh my goodness, it's farming the enemy kill. What a crazy defense. He won! Oh my goodness. Another two-man team moment. So, pretty much. Just let the Belial die and Rina's gonna tank the rest. But I fear it is kind of risky because if she land a defense break right there and she doesn't crit, which means she'll do damage to the shield, the follow-up damage from the enemy Byeongchon can actually break the shield rather easily. So, it really depends on whether you can survive the non-crit attack. From, from the enemy like this. And you have to manage to kill this thing quickly. Like the moment that thing goes down, you instantly win. All right, guys, another of the same defense. They are spamming it, so I'll be the one to deal with it. We have the best whiff on Kabez and F. Next up, we have the Katarina to deal damage. And lastly, we have the Jamaya to reset so that we can do it over again. So the middle unit is a high defense type unit, which means it shouldn't survive a single hit from Katarina. And hopefully the other attack will do something. That is so beautiful right there. And then we do this. And then we can finish off the Byeongchon. 
god, it's gonna be so good. Because here we go. Oh, that was so beautiful. Get out of here, you. <laughs> and for the last attack, we have another Byeongchon defense and we have Nephthys plus Brita. So we're gonna be using Veramos to deal with the Nephthys debuff, and then we have double unit that can do dot damage. And I think we should be okay. We should. <laughs> All right, here comes the strip. He land a strip. Here comes the funny thing. And we are we are going to start cleansing all the debuff from the enemy. Oh, but I can't dot him yet. I, I need to spam the Rika skill 3 first. Oh my god, we're not getting it. Oh shit, I'm glancing. Oh shit, shit. Can I stun? Oh no. I think Rika is uh, fucked. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're alive. Alright, I'm gonna spam this. It's on revenge? Oh my goodness. Can I, can I kill something, please? Can I please heal something? All right, that should die. He stunned me. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, one more dot for you. Come on, come on. We, we can't go away like this. And boom. Okay, one more time. Boom. <clears throat> and we got it. All right, guys, that was Teach for today. Wow, what a cool fight that was, Shundi. Except he lied. Yes, that's right, everybody. Sean B lied. How dare he? What actually happened is he lost the original battle, uh, but the footage looks like this, so we decided to re-record it. <laughs> Sean B channel is all about honesty. The actions of Sean B do not reflect the ideas and opinions held by the editors. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Get out of here. And that is Teach for today. Super close Teach, very intense, and we have one last one before the season final. I'll see you guys there.